Praise the Lord. When God is on the battlefield, you have nothing to fear. When God is for you, who can be against you? Nobody. When God is fighting for you, nobody can fight you. Because the most important thing is whether God is there. It's God on the battlefield. When God is there, you will ask. And keep praying, He will do the rest. Father, we thank you. It's about to hear your word. We thank you, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Release innumerable company of angels to come and bless your children. Have mercy and forgive any sin that they say that may not to be blessed. Cleanse and sanctify them with the blood of Jesus. Any demon of hindrances, I command you to disappear in the name of Jesus. Sanctify them for your word. Let your word make them clean. The word are going to be fell on a good and fertile ground. Do not fall on a winter ground. They will use it to be blessed. And this word and word to come in Jesus' name. Amen. When God is on the battlefield, when God is for you, that's why God brought Jesus. Jesus is the only way, the truth, and the life. Not the time of someone go and carry your hand to go and check the message. That's why God sent His Son, Jesus Christ, to come and become the only way. Only way to God, only to head to heaven, and only way to rapture. Not only way to rapture and God, only way to bless him. Only way to way where that are closed. Only way to road that are closed. Because some people, when they, are, when they, are, when they feel that the, the road has come to an end, they don't know that it does not come, there's another way. You can reach to the end of the road, you can see the wall of the fence. When you see the wall of the fence, there is a way that is available, but you don't know because we are not in Christ. You will think that there is no way again end that you can use to pass. Many people, when they have problems, they fall. They don't think of standing up again. When they fall, getting up from where they fall is not in their mind. What is their mind? I have fallen. I have lost. But getting up is not coming to their mind. But you have to get up. Let getting up come to your mind because of Christ that is only the way. Because God created man for a purpose. God created man and put man in the Garden of Eden. Why God created us is for us to enjoy. But the devil came and contaminated it with his lies. That's why the Bible called devil the father of all lies from the beginning. He used lies to deceive Eve, Eve deceived the husband. That is why we are suffering. Normally we are supposed to be in the Garden of Eden. But that Garden of Eden, we enter it now through who? Christ. That paradise we missed because of sin of Adam and Eve. We enter it now through Jesus. So when you pray and have faith, you enter paradise. That is where your blessing is. Go and collect anything you want. Bible says in Revelation 22, tree of life. The street, it has street. You go and collect all that is a spiritual. When you come out physically, you begin to see your blessing. As we are quickly going to open the book of John 1 14. That is why God sent Jesus. Bible says Jesus. And the world was made flesh. Jesus was a lamb that was slain before the foundation of the world. You'll be hearing that the lamb was slain. That lamb was Jesus. And the Bible says, and the world was made flesh. That is Jesus. And dwelt among us. The real name of Jesus is Yahushua. It's English that's translated to Jesus. But the real Hebrew name that God spoke with and gave to Virgin Mary was Yahushua. The world was made flesh and dwelt among us and beheld his glory, we beheld the glory of Jesus, glory of the only begotten from the Father, full of grace and truth. The world that was made flesh and dwelt on it. So Jesus was before the foundation of the world. So that way you are seen. It's not that just that way, just came to the world. But as the Bible said, Jesus came, Jesus was. That's why Bible say, anytime we are saying our intercessory prophetic offers, we say, blessed is he who was and is and to come as a love forevermore. That is Jesus, who was, he was. And is and is to come again. Praise the Lord. Amen. So the way you open the book of John 7, 7, that is why to tell you that he was born in the of the world. So you have nothing to fear. Jesus, that way is in you. He knows everything. Somebody that who somebody that was before the world were created. Where he doesn't know everything in his hands. And that just Christ is inside who is in you. It's better than who is in the world. Bible says, sanctify them in your truth. That I want the truth. Sanctify is make you clean. Sanctify when God sanctify you, evil will run away. Sanctify you by your his word, the word of God. For the word of God is word, truth. And that word is word, Jesus. That was before the foundation of the world, the lamb that was made flesh and God among us. That word, Jesus. That word is truth. 
When Jesus sanctifies you, that's why when you come to church. That's why the Bible says the word you hear make you clean. Nothing can make you clean, that is the word of God. That's why the devil makes some people during the word of God, some people begin to sleep, some people begin to go out. Because the Bible says that word will make you once clean. The word of God will sanctify you. Because when you're sanctified, don't define it again. What will make you to define it is what sin. That is why it's good for you to be holy in the Lord. Because when you're holy in the Lord, devil can't near you. When you're sanctified, devil doesn't like things that are sanctified. He will come and try to contaminate it. But when you see that he cannot make it, he will run away. You continue with the sanctification. So it's the one of all that you sanctify. If you are dirty, which will sanctify and make you clean. You are dirty. You will look beautiful, you dress. I'm working on the gym, but inside you have to see that it's dirty. What makes you dirty? Sin. Because sin, the God, sin, the God, the God sees, sees sin as dirty. So before God is dirty, before men, you are very, very neat. But inside you, very, very dirty. That is sin. So what will make you clean? Sin will see you as clean is what? Word of God. It will sanctify you when you are going on the street. Because when you open to the book of Revelation, um, Revelation 22.4, you will see all believers, they have identity. All believers have identity. Revelation 22, 4, Bible says there, the seal of the Lord is on your head. That's why you are different from unbelievers. There is a seal every believer is carrying. If you go to Revelation 22, 4, every believer is carrying a seal. That is why you are different from others. Bible says, Revelation 22, 4, they shall see his face. And his name shall be on their foreheads. Now and what to come. As you are in Christ Jesus, if you are going out from the church, that the devil wants to talk about something he's seeing here. Yes. But you will not see it, but they will see it. Yes. They will see the type of coverage, the type of fire you are carrying. Yes. The name of God on your foreheads. That is why you are different from other people. Yes. As a believer. That's why that church is different because he has the seal. Because this is a mystery. You don't know it, but the kingdom of darkness is knowing it. That's why it's difficult for them to attack you. They might attack you when your prayer life is weak. They might come to test you. But when you act, show them that you know that mark is here. You pray, they will run. You have a mark in you. And the next time, we go to that mark in you. That's why Jesus said, I will never leave you or forsake you. Because his mark is in, he, in, in Old Testament, he has graven us in his palms. New Testament, the Russia said, the mark is here. Everybody has it. That's why Paul says, I let no man trouble me, for I die in my body, what the mark of Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. That's why anywhere you are, you know that you are carrying something. So when they come to attack you, show them that you know what you know. Because what devil makes you used to make people to become panic when he notices that you know nothing. When devil notices that the first thing devil used to make attack you is fear. If devil can get you with fear, finish him. Because when you have fear, you do not know what to do. Pray, problem. But when you remove your test, when people drink, drink, they begin to panic. Why are you panicking for the dream that God showed you? Not even somebody told you, say, I dream. Or revelation, you direct, you dream, can't you direct, which means you have power to do what? Do what? Cancel it. Something that came to you, you are shivering. It's you. Not even person that you, you direct. That is coming to you that show you that you have to castle it. That a dream shall see his face, the face will be on your forehead. So when I in a dream on the physical, when they come and attack you in the physical, they will see the seal of the Lord. When they come and not see it, search yourself, you have gone a wrong way. That seal is supposed to be big. that mark. You bear your body the mark of the Lord Jesus Christ. When you open to the book of 2 Chronicles 7:14. What will make that seal to continue on your forehead? Praise the Lord. The Bible says, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves through fasting and pray. You have to humble yourself, pray, and seek the face of the Lord. When you are born again, what are going to do so that devil can't use you? Could devil come to contaminate you to drink? He said, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face. Humble yourself, true person, prayerful, lack of prayerful. That is one of it. And seek the face of the Lord. Let, begin to see many people because they are in darkness. That's why they are sinking. 
that you can see God. Where are you? Where well, God is there? God, where are you? I'm sick. Why God is there? Why don't you know that you are the God because I'm darkness? Because when you are light, you will see God face to face to face. If He's inside you, God, where are you? God will be saying, I'm here. I'll be here. You're not here. You will not hear. You will not see because you're not in Christ. But in why you are Christ? Why you will not even ask God where are you? He said, God, help me. God, deliver me. God will give you the grace to know that God is with you in Jesus' name. Amen. Anything that you commit that makes God run away from you, that's God, where are you? That's it, God will remove it from today in Jesus' name. And Bible says, I will hear them from heaven. He said, when you seek the of the Lord, what is it? You turn from your wicked ways. Wicked ways, wicked ways, sin. You turn from your wicked ways, turn from sin. Very, very important. Not when you ask God and pray and fast, you continue being wicked. He said, I will hear from heaven. When you pray and fast and help yourself and remove wickedness, God will not hear you. You must remove, you, you, you will not, you, when you do this, this, the wickedness inside you say, wickedness will go, then he will hear you. And Bible will say what? Then I will hear him from heaven and will forgive their sins. And once again, I will heal their land. He will heal you, heal your business, heal your... That's why many people go to churches, prayer churches from in, in Africa. What they're doing, they will do it. Many people have seen that go to prayer church. Ten years, that's the suffering to one, one problem. Because they have not left all those things. He will heal your sickness. They say, now my eyes shall be open. And be yes. When you do it, the eyes of the Lord shall be open, clear, to be seen who is talking to him. And his ear attentive. Very, very attentive before you finish saying you don't answer, you don't come down. And unto the prayer that is made in this place, this is when God was talking after Solomon finished building the temple. He was talking about the temple. That in this place, if you can pray fast, so far, we can that he will heal you and forgive you your sin. And that time, temple is in the church. But now, temple is in your heart. That's why Bible says your body is the one temple of the living God. So in this temple you are carrying now, if you humble yourself in fasting, if you pray, if you seek the face of the Lord and talk for your wicked ways, He will forgive you and heal you. And He said, How is I will be open? Ears attentive. Any prayer made in this altar now. And now I have chosen and hallowed this house that my name may be there forever. And my eyes and my heart shall be there perpetually. The eyes continues. That is holiness. The conclusion of the Muhammad fear God and keep his commandments. This is the entire duty of man. Conclusion, holiness bring God closer to you. It will not benefit you that you come to church, you have problem, you come to pastor, pastor pray for you. When you are in your hands, God will not be near you. Don't you know that you can be feeling God every minute of your life? What might make God to be coming to you every minute of is holiness. What do people think that his soul is not doing what is holy? Some people their work is to judge pastor. Why when you are judging pastor, God is telling pastor bad about you? You are judging pastor. Pastor do this, pastor. But you don't even tell be telling the pastor bad about you that he's judging. You know, at times, that's why God said we should be very, very careful. Judge not let you be judged. That thing you are thinking that the pastor is doing is sin. God is seen as a different thing. It's you that all is seen as atrocity and abomination and filthy and corruptible and abominable. But that pastor you are seeing is beholding before God. That is it, if you do it, God knows that pass is the right thing. It's you that is wrong. If you come down, he will knock you, knock you, knock you. That's why you have to be holy. You'll be talking pastor, pastor, but they'll be the part they go God, they near pastor. They talk to pastor. You where where the holy past pastor, you don't go hear them. You know, go feed God for one minute. So that is why you have to be holy. Concentrate on your own, leave another person. Concentrate on your own righteousness. Pastors, when, church, when you are running a church, pastors face persecution. This can be from them. So when pastor is facing persecution, God sees this as persecution. Pastor is being promoted. Pastor is passing the exam. You are failing because they get with you. That, that, God, that God can bless you. That, that God will be attentive. He said his ear be attentive. I do want to open. Praise the Lord. So what I, today someone is talking about holiness and righteousness. Praise the Lord. Then finally, when you open to the book of Second Timothy. Second Timothy, I didn't put it. What? Not Timothy, sorry. John 14, 6. 
I put that one. John 14, 6. Now, finally, John 14, 6 says, Jesus says to them, I am the way. Come to Jesus. Jesus is the way. Where to success. You know this way, when people don't understand, that is the secret of a prayer point. Any road that is blocked, Jesus is the way. Any, any place you enter, there is no road. He said, Jesus, open way. You go to office, the doctor of the office, he said, they are not giving you anything. You would say, the road is not closed. Jesus, open way. Let me go and get it. Way to God, way to success, way to prosperity. Because of the truth. That's why I was said, sanctify them by your truth. By your word is truth. That truth is Jesus. Jesus is everything. Anywhere you go, you call Jesus. You can go to that office. They will give you that thing. It doesn't know that the road is closed. Go back to your room. Let me tell you one secret. When you enter in the room, conversation do what? Changes. What is that conversation? Prayer. The way me and you communicate. When you enter in the prayer room, do you, do you communicate like that? Conversation do what? Change. No matter who you converse with all over the world, the matter the president or the pastor or the bishop, immediately you enter alone. What changes? Conversation. The way you anything you're saying different. You be praying, talking to God. The way you talk to God, can you talk to another person like that? No. Okay. When that road closes, if you that you God, they did not accept your request, you enter that room and start your conversation. It changes. Then when you come out, you are coming out with power. You are going back to that place again. You will see the road has opened. Enter the room of conversation. Come out with power, with fire on your head. Be holy. Receive Jesus as an only Lord and best. Because of that truth, that's why Naaman has to, because of Jesus. Because Jesus was the first of the world. Because of that, that's why Naaman, when he was having leper, have had to dip into the water seven times and came up and become what? Healed. It's because of that truth, Virgin Mary has to conceive Jesus Christ. It's because of that truth, Jesus has to come after 42 generations. It's because of that truth, Noah has to be saved. Those who are today say, count your blessings, them the one by one. Because of that truth, Elijah had to pray, no rain. Because of that truth, Joshua had to pray, no son, 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 to sail. Because of Jesus, all those things are Jesus before the foundation of So begin to count to bless him, count because of it, the rest thing have to clear Israelite pass because of Jesus. So if you don't know that Jesus is that lamp today, you know if I'm going to stand up.